In closing, I've shared with you a few struggles that I have going from Lincolnville, South Carolina to living on the global stage where people really actually sometimes listen to what I say. <laughs> Time Magazine says I'm one of the 100 most influential people in the world. I cannot influence anybody in my family. <laughs> I'll be glad when my family reads my press. I don't, but so far they're not reading. I bring the magazines in, they don't even look at the magazines. Every child, Every Child USA is a campaign that we are launching in October and we're ready to go right today. In my experience of being a member of the Global Village, I get to see how America, we do so much great work in the world. As we've seen all the good work that you're doing right here, we've talked to the Samaritan person, clean water and uh, room for Room to Read yesterday and all the great work we do around the world. I can confess that I have held more babies in Africa that have been dying of AIDS or living in poverty than I've held here in the United States, right here at home. Right here to, at home, over 29 million children here in the United States live in poverty. Right here at home. Right here in these United States today, this morning, more than 29 children did not have breakfast right here in the United States. One in every four children right here in the United States do not and cannot learn to read. And 85% of our children who go into the penal system cannot read past the fourth grade level. We have a crisis right here in the United States. I have my, ten my Tanzania staff, two of my team from Tanzania are here in New York today. And as we go around the country, oftentimes you may not know that HIV AIDS the rate of HIV AIDS is greater in some American cities than it is in Tanzania. My government, my government gives us more money to address children's issues, orphans, poverty in Tanzania than it does to address the children right here in the United States. This is not about, a, this is not being up in the government. I'm happy that the government takes care of the world. But I say that we must mobilize Americans to take care of our children. Because if we are going to be, if we are serious about the future of our country, we must be clear that we must do a better job of taking care of America's children. So I ask you today, to join the campaign, Every Child USA. This is our new campaign. And my colleague Rodney Sampson is back there. Text Child USA 85944. Now, I'm telling you, I'm new to this. How am I, how am I doing? <laughs> am I doing okay? You, you, can, you can talk to me out there and you can give me a little tweet. Um, but seriously, we have a serious problem, and we really want you to join our campaign. Uh, we are, we're launching October um, uh, 18th, and we're really serious about bringing America, making aware, America aware of the issues that our children are having right here, Sister Mary's children, your nieces, your sisters, ch children right in your family, everybody in America is affected by our children. We've done a great job hiding poverty in our country. I live in a community in Richmond, I don't have to see poverty. If I drive downtown, I don't have to see poverty. All I have to do is stay on the straight road. We can hide it here. We must continue to do the great work, to be the great humanitarians in the world, but we must also start beginning to address the issues right here at home. And last
lastly, as I close, I didn't have time to tell you all about the bomb in Gilead and all the work that we do. I think that's really kind of, you can read that somewhere in one of those magazines or online. But what I want to leave you with that I've said earlier is that this is our moment. This is our moment. As we move from this moment on everything that we do with social media, keep compassion, keep kindness, tolerance, love, and respect. Center on every platform that we build with every text and email that we send. God bless you. Thank you.